Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Let Go, the 51st practice of my book, Just One Thing. Uh, as a longtime rock climber, I've had a lot of experiences of appropriate holding on, and of course, raising kids, you want to hold on to them in, in healthy ways too. On the other hand, if we hold on too tightly, we squeeze, squeeze the life out of uh, others, and we can squeeze the life out of life itself. So look for ways to explore and enjoy letting go. For example, in the body, letting go of tension through deliberate relaxation, like through taking several long breaths in which the exhalation is, let's say, twice as long as the inhalation. Another way to let go is in terms of the, th the mind, or thoughts, if you will, by challenging thoughts that you know are not so true or are exaggerated or harmful to you and others. Another thing you might do is to let go of certain desires that get you into trouble. I have a strong desire to make things orderly, and so I try to challenge that from time to time. More broadly, you can explore the notion or experience of actually letting go moment to moment, observing the extraordinary miracle that no scientist fully understands, that even as this instant, this moment, of existence disappears beneath our feet, there is an endless renewing of the next moment continually emerging. So, may you let go.